I've been in business for the past 20 years and you learn something new every single day. But one of the things that I always go back to is fundamentals. And I think that's what's missing from the majority of business owners or the new young entrepreneurs nowadays is that they don't have their fundamentals nailed down. I had the luxury of having a very logical and ethical mentor when I got into business when I was 24 years old. And that experience and all the things that I learned from my mentor shaped me into the individual that I am today, taking into consideration all the fundamentals that I acquired, as well as all the fundamentals that I built with my personality, my experience, my personal wisdom. Under promise and over deliver. This is very, very important. We all want to do a great job. However, we always have to look at what is actually possible. Most people overestimate what they can do in 30 days and underestimate what they can do in 12 months. And this always goes back to awareness and awareness happens with experience. Awareness happens with logic. Make that phone call no matter how hard it is. You will have unpleasant moments in business, things that you don't want to do, people that you don't want to speak to, negotiations that you don't want to be involved with. But you cannot run away from anything in business. It will come back and bite you in the ass. So you might as well deal with it today. And that brings me to one touch rule. This concept really affected my growth and increased the velocity of my learning process. About eight years ago, I started noting down everything that I think of, every single idea that I come up with. No matter how crazy or no matter how useless, I wrote it down. And I created a rule that basically stated if it takes less than five to 10 minutes to do something, I do it at that moment. When I had an idea to test a tool or look at something, I did it right away. I didn't delay it to next week or next month. Now, a lot of people would say that causes a lot of distractions, et cetera, et cetera. But I really knew what I had to do. And this also was applied to the articles that I wrote, the blog posts that I wrote, the outreach efforts that I did with prospects, the marketing initiatives that I had, the videos that we create. It touched everything. This specific rule allowed me to move things fast. Which brings me to number four. Done is better than perfect. Planning is the phase that dreams go to die. So I don't really plan much. I have an overall idea of how I want to execute things. And with AI nowadays, planning is skipped because AI can plan and create an outline for you and an execution plan for you within minutes. So you don't have to plan anything. AI will break it down for you. But five years ago, seven years ago, we didn't really have that. So I made it a rule to move fast, to execute fast, to create a version of something fast, and then I could perfect it later. And that increased the velocity of how fast I experienced things and how fast I made mistakes and how fast I learned from those mistakes. And these are the fundamentals that I still use to implement the things that I want to do in my business today. The only way to future-proof your business is to actually plan for the future. Yet so many business owners nowadays, they're so stuck with what happens today. Am I getting a return on my investment today? How can I sell more today? How can I cut expenses today? How can I put more money in my pocket today? But in my opinion, when it comes to business, today is irrelevant. Even tomorrow is irrelevant. Next week, next month is irrelevant. I run a small business, a small agency with less than 50 employees. And when I make decisions today, I'm thinking about three to five years from now. The strategic decisions that you make for your business to grow and be more profitable and to be able to compete better has to do with intermediate to long term. You cannot make today's business decisions with yesterday's experiences, and you cannot make future decisions and strategic plans with today's experiences and emotions. Yet, that's what most business people do. This is what the financial markets do. Look at all the movement in the financial markets based on all the news that we get. So, to future-proof my business, these are the three things that I always work on. One is people. I need to make sure that I surround myself with individuals who are smarter than me, more capable than me, more organized than me. Because the reality is 
that I operate in chaos. I know my strengths and my weaknesses. I don't operate in an organized fashion. But, and this brings me to number two, I know how to hyper-focus. Now, I have the luxury to be able to do that because I have other team members who are focusing on customer satisfaction, execution, culture. I don't have to worry about all of those things. And three is innovation. I will always spend money on innovation. I will always sacrifice execution and any other part of my business for innovation. You might ask, innovation based on who? I founded this company, so that's innovation based on my standards. And the way I define innovation is a new way of doing things that is more efficient and or creative. Because in my opinion, with the technology advancing in such a scale and also AI advancing in such a fast manner, I feel like I don't have the luxury not to innovate, not to be more efficient, not to get better in every way, shape or form. And so far, it has been working because I have been in business for the past 17 years. In my opinion, we are going to move from individual tasks to consecutive tasks with AI in the next 12 months. Right now, we can simply ask AI questions and AI will give us answers. And the quality of those answers have been improving in the past 24 months. We can get executions, get organized concepts and ideas from AI, but we cannot assign AI full executions to actually go ahead and do whatever is necessary yet. And it's very interesting because now we have access to the world's information and we just have to ask the right question. I feel like we don't have to have the answers anymore. We need to know what questions to ask because everybody has access to the same level of information. The question that you ask really differentiates the response that you get and the quality of the response that you get. And what you do with that response is completely up to you. I can go to ChatGPT today and I can say, give me a full execution plan to build an application for iPhone that's a hybrid application that allows me to book flights from these 12 airlines anywhere in the world in the most efficient, in the most cost efficient way possible. And if I ask further questions, AI will also guide me in the right direction in terms of what kind of programming language should I use, what server structure should I do, what kind of marketing should I do for that specific concept, the pricing models. So AI can answer all of those questions and give you a full business idea and a concept all the way from ideation to fully executed marketing, spend this much money on Google Ads, Facebook. Basically, it will give you the whole thing, but it will not execute it, which means it will write the code, but it will not automatically create an AWS server for you and upload the code there with the right infrastructure uh, with GitHub and code control and all of that stuff. It will not do the QA for you automatically on that code. It will give you the topics for the blog posts, for example, for marketing, but it will not actually go ahead and implement that in the most SEO friendly format possible. It will give you a, a PR execution, but it will not go and do the PR pitches for you to actually be able to get your app featured in different publications. But AI will get to a point where it starts executing tasks. And when it begins to execute tasks, the differentiation is going to be how good your planning structure is and how good your instructions to AI to actually execute that specific task or project will be. The AI responses are as good as the information that you feed them. That's today. Tomorrow, when AI can execute, the execution is going to be as great as the information and the instructions that you feed to the AI model. What am I doing today to future-proof my business and to differentiate my execution in my agency is I am fully learning how to operate and instruct AI in the most efficient, innovative and creative way possible.